Hello everyone, this is my next little quick project. It is a E200 electric scooter. This was my younger sister's and it's been sitting for about 15 years. I picked it up from my grandfather's garage when I cleaned it out in hopes of just putting some batteries in it and getting it riding for my son. Well, I just found out last week that my new parking assignment is a mile from my building where I work. So instead of paying $550 for an adult electric scooter off of Amazon, I decided to do a budget bill on this. So this video, what we're gonna do is that I'm going to be taking some satin black and some clear coat and if I decide to paint the aluminum top plate some etching primer and we're going to make this look a little bit more modern so we're going to strip all the electronics out because we're going to replace that we're going to take the old batteries out because those are no good and we're going to work on making this look a little bit better this episode then the next episode we will install the electronics and the batteries and we'll see if it carries all six foot one 210 pound me around my neighborhood before I put it to work five days a week at work so let's get to it So I just want to see if the thing actually, if the motor turns. Here it is the next day. Got the handlebar, the handlebar thingamajigger. We got the frame here, sand it down, wipe down. We got the battery and the controller box, and we have the rear whatever. And I did shave off the resolator, the razor lettering off both sides so you can see that it is smooth and the raised lettering. It's gone, so it'll be a nice clean look. And also on the belt guard, I shaved off the razor lettering there as well. So the only thing that's not hung up to be painted is the wheel, and I'm gonna do that separately. And for the vinyl or the plastic pieces i'm going to use this rust-oleum uh paint for plastic it's like a flat black what well, is this gloss this might be gloss but the uh the regular paint 
it's not going to stick well to the plastic it will flake off so this will hold a little bit better i've used it in the past then everything else will get a coat of self etching primer first maybe two coats of self etching primer and then the satin black and then the flat crystal clear all right so i have two coats of etching primer on the frame the handlebars and then i have one coat of vinyl paint on the battery tray and the rear step thing wheel guard thing so i'm going to do one more coat of uh vinyl paint and then i'm gonna start with the flat black and the clear on the frame all right so this is how i'm painting the wheel like i said some note cards to keep the paint off the tire um, and I uh, taped up the valve stem all right so that is the first coat of flat black matte black satin black whatever it is black non-gloss so I'm going to do probably two more coats of satin black and then the flat clear and when I get done with that I'll be back and just like that we are done painting now a lot of people will you know prime and paint and wait for a day or two and then paint and then wait for a day or two i don't do that i prime i paint i clear coat all at the same time and i leave about 10 15 minutes in between each coat i do it all in one at one time get it done be over with now with the vinyl paint i do like three layers of the vinyl then I call it a day. And normally this stuff is pretty solid, pretty good to go. The vinyl and plastic paint. But let me tell you, that flat crystal clear leaves a really nice like matte black. I mean, the color is like the clear, the flat clear is almost perfect. I mean, it looks really nice in person. I'm very actually surprised because the paint itself had some gloss to it but that flat crystal clear like flattened it right out like it looks really good especially on the wheels like that flat looks really good like oh my goodness it looks really good it looks really good so i'm gonna let this sit for about another hour before i take it down so tomorrow i will start assembly Yes, so I will start assembly tomorrow. And when I do assembly, I will install the electronics. And I think this is what I'm going with for now. Uh, in the future, I do want to add a headlight and a brake light. But for now, I just want to get it running and kind of make sure everything works before I put any more money into it. So now, let me get my skateboard uh, deck. This looks pretty cool. I have the link in the description of everything that I used. And yeah, let's get this installed and let's go for a ride. All right, so everything should be ready to go. But before we can go anywhere, I need to pump the front tire up because I deflated it so that I could paint it. So it is flat at the moment. So let's we're gonna take our 200 amp jump starter with air compressor and we're gonna pump this joker up real quick. So here we go on our maiden voyage. See how this thing goes. It turns on. Oh man, this thing got some torque. All right, let's see. Let's see how this goes here. Make sure the brakes. Okay, brakes work. We're going down here right now, so of course it's not going to be a good, a true tale of the scooter because we're just coasting right now. So let's see how it does. We got a little uphill. Oh, 
is going. She got a steady heel. It's not fast at all. It's nowhere close to being fast. It's faster than what I can walk. Yeah, it's not it's not fast at all. But it pulled the heel. Battery is showing E. Heel, like I said, it's not fast. It's not fast by any means. But will it turn my 20 minute walk to a 10 minute ride? Maybe. It could definitely be faster going down heels. I think 24 votes is, is not enough. So I kind of see why people do 36, at least 36 votes. Because 24 is not fast. So let's go to the bottom. Let's get on the sidewalk since we, we move kind of slow. But the brakes, oh, the brakes work pretty good. Let me go down here, turn around, and walk this hill. The brakes work decently well. So, I mean, yeah, it does pull me uphill. Probably five miles per hour. Maybe not even that fast, to be honest with you. Uh-oh. I don't know if it's giving up because of the battery voltage or if it's giving up because I'm 210 pounds on this little kid scooter. But yeah, I mean, it did work. Definitely strained. How hot is this motor so far off of that little simple ride? Oh, the motor's not hot. So it's just not getting enough voltage. So I mean, 36 volts is probably what's needed. So I'll probably take it to work tomorrow and just kind of see how it does. Cause I've been averaging between 21 and 25 minutes walking. It's like 1.4 miles or something like that. I think it is. So I've been averaging about 20, about 21 minutes walking to the office and about 23, 24 minutes walking from the office to the parking deck. So maybe I'll take it tomorrow and I'll see kind of what my, the, the time difference is. But you know, if this works, it'll work. Um, before I put any more money into it, I'll probably just go on Amazon and just spend three, four hundred dollars for a scooter since I'm gonna be in that parking deck for probably a year, at least a year, at least 12 months. All right, y'all. So this is April, 2024. And this is way after I initially recorded the video for the Razor scooter. Like I said, everything still works, it's still here. Uh, I gave it to my son, he's eight, he is like 80 pounds. Works perfectly for him. If you are a full-size adult, I would not waste your time doing this scooter for yourself unless you doing like a 36 or 48 volt, probably a 48 volt to, for, to be able to sustain a adult weight like i said i was like 210 pounds like 220 pounds now and that was not gonna cut it at all so what i end up doing is that i end up um watch some youtube videos and it was hard finding a video of a grown full-size 200 plus pound man to get an honest review because everybody was like 120 pound woman so I end up going with the Avio Pro and I end up putting over a hundred miles on this in eight months going back and forth to work. 
and just general riding around and this thing is awesome i would get about 10 miles to a charge on this and i think i paid like 500 dollars for it but i would get around 10 miles to a charge uh, i had a pretty decent incline going to and from my parking deck and like going uphill it would slow down to like five miles per hour uh, but if it was on just level road, it would get up to 18, 19 miles per hour. And it, and it, and it, it was sustaining it until you start going up to an incline. And it would gradually slow down. But the slowest it would go uphill was like 8 miles per hour. So if you are a 180, 190, 200, 210, 220 pound adult, skip the Razor skip the upgrades unless you just want something to upgrade and if you want something out the box that's going to work it's going to get you roughly 10 miles of range this avio pro how do you pronounce it worked flawless the only issue i had was that this clip broke so i just ordered like a whole fender off amazon was like 11 dollars, and i just took that clip off and put it on there if you're an adult and you want something out of the box that's good to go 20 miles per hour like i said it can carry you uphill at eight miles per hour which is faster than what you can walk this is what i will go with and one thing i do like about it is that you take this and it folds down pretty flat throw it in your trunk throw it in the back seat of your car whatever the case may be and you're good to go like i said what 100 miles the tires have held on pretty good it's not all that comfortable uh but like i said it turned my 25 minute walk into a 10 minute ride and i've been caught in rainstorms it's been raining this thing never skipped a beat at all. Has a headlight on it, has a brake light on it. I mean, you really can't go wrong with this scooter. So I'll have a link in the description below if it's still on Amazon. And if you need something that works, it works if you are a full grown adult. I think the weight limit is 250 pounds, but I'll verify and put it in here. So. If you want something for your kids, enough form, 80, 90, 100 pounds, or view yourself, 80, 90, 100 pounds, but 100 and probably 50 pounds and up, do yourself a favor, just buy your scooter. Think, build, enjoy. Peace.